declared to be improper or unlawful on earth will have already been bound in heaven. And whatever you loose, permit, declare lawful on earth will have already been loosed on, in man. heaven. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. 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 So I want to begin by saying there are some things that gives us access to the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, and Lord. for you to be able to live in the power of the Holy Spirit, Hallelujah. God is telling you there are some requirements yes. to this life yes. of living in the power of the Holy Spirit. There is, it's not enough just to know of God yeah. or to know or just to hold a Bible, just to buy the Bible and have it in the car and ride around with you. There are some things you have to do, That's taking right. some actions. First, he's trying to tell you, I have already given you authority. Yeah. After you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, things have opened up to you. Amen. You have access and authority to our Heavenly Father. Yeah. And with that, you can exercise that in this realm right yeah. now yeah. where we are living. Yeah. You don't have to wait to get to heaven. It's no secret. Satan would have you be ignorant of the power that you possess. But I'm here to tell you, you got some power Hallelujah. in your pocket. Amen. He said, I will give you the keys, yes. the authority, yes, the Lord. authority mm -hmm. of the kingdom of heaven. Think about that, Thank the you. mighty kingdom of heaven. You have the authority to exercise right now on earth. You can tell the devil, you can tell the enemy, uh-uh, won't be no lack in my life. Yes. Won't be no depression in my family. Yes. Won't be no generational curses. No. You can bind the things that are unlawful. Yes. Bind the things that are of the enemy, yes. that are contrary to the will of God, yes. that are contrary to what the word is saying yes. about your life, about you, about your destiny. Woo. If it ain't in the word, if God didn't say it, yes. then you bind that That's in right. the name of Jesus. Right. Don't yes. doubt about it. No shucking and jiving and, and yes. endowment. And whatever you loose is already loosed in heaven. Yeah. Already, think about all the glorious things in heaven. You can loose that right here on earth. Thank you. Right Amen. here on earth. Come you don't on. gotta wait till you get to heaven That's to experience right. all That's of that right. gloriousness. Come the joy, on. the peace, Woo. the happiness, yes. wealth, prosperity, yes. riches, Come on. love, yes. all of that. Yes. You can experience it right, right here. here. Right, right here. here. You got the keys. On, He's man. given you to live. Woo. To live in the power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. It's yeah. not experience Him every once in a while. Come on, now. It's not coincidental yeah. encounters with the Lord. On, He's talking about living. Yeah. That means every day. Yeah. All the time that you are breathing, you are living. Yeah. It doesn't stop. That's right. Think about that. It doesn't stop. Thank you, Lord. Thank you Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Number one thing that we need to do you, to have a to be able to live in the power of the Holy Spirit you, is grow in faith. You, you have to grow, grow in faith. In faith. You, you need to have a deeper, he's calling you to have a deeper and consistent level of faith. You shouldn't have the same level as you had when you first That's accepted right. him. Right. You shouldn't be superficial That's anymore. Right. On, you shouldn't be saying, if you're real God, on, or if you can God. No, he's already made himself. Uh, uh, proving himself to you. Yes. He can and he will. That's He's right. delivered you. Yes. He's already brought you out from your past. Yes. He's already done it for you. Believe in him. Yes. Believe. Yes. Believe. Grow. Mark 11, 20 through to 20, 23 through 24. In the New King James Version says, For assuredly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed That's and be it. cast into the sea, mm -hmm. and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done. Yeah. He will have whatever he says. Yeah. He's saying, whatever you saying, you should already believe that it's coming yeah. true. Because you got it. the authority That's of God. It. You got the authority. Now he ain't saying anything like anything. He's saying anything that continues on, you will start to desire the things of the Lord. And that's what you will be asking for. And he will give you anything that you ask for. Anything lined up with his will. But you got to believe it. 
Thank you. You gotta believe it. We asking for things that are too small. Come on, too now. small. Come on, now. too small. Just because the, the doctor's report say cancer or say diabetes or whatever, we think, whoa, ain't nobody ever lived with that stuff or with that diagnosis. But we serve a big God. Get this 
in your spirit to live in the power of the Holy Spirit. Once you, you know what? Once you get a taste of the power of the Holy Spirit at any time, it could be somebody that laid hands on you or prayed for you. And when they lay their hands on you, you feel the fire of God. Yeah. Woo, don't you want more? Yeah. Yeah. You just want more. Yeah. So you don't want to just be in existence just for a little bit in that come power. On, on. But you want to live yeah. every day, yeah. day in and day out. Yeah. Day in and day out. Yeah. And to live in that power. Yeah. Number three, you need to uh, do a few things to be holy. Be holy. You need to des deny self. Come on. Deny self. That's it. Amen. And repent. Come on. Come on. Amen. Deny yourself and repent to live in his presence. Yeah, yeah. It requires a commitment. Yes, a yes. commitment. You can't be inconsistent with God. That's right. That's right. A commitment. What if he was inconsistent with us? Come on. Come on. And only said, okay, you can breathe Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And we would just be, you know, <laughs> struggling and stuff like that. What if he said, okay, I'm only going to allow your car to work on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And you would just be walking to work. That's it. What about that? That's it. If our God is consistent, yeah. why aren't we? Yeah. If he's yeah. living in us, we yeah. need to be consistent. Oh, especially towards God. Oh, yeah. Be consistent to the one true and living God who's yeah. given, given us everything. Yeah. Who's allowed us to live. Thank you, Thank you, God. Thank you. Amen. We need to commune with God. That means to focus on God. Be in his presence every single day. Talk with him. Converse with him. How do you have a relationship with anybody if you don't talk to them? How do you have a relationship? How do you have a relationship? Yes, they have a title. Yes, they are your heavenly father. Yes, they are your father. But you also have to commune and talk. Amen. Talk. Communicate. Yeah. That means talk and listen. Yeah. Talk and listen. Yeah. Not just talk, Lord, I need this. Do this for me. Go here, go there. Rest this person. Do this and take this away. Thank you, Jesus. I'll see you tomorrow. And then you run away. No, he's like, I didn't give you the answer to what to do to make all that relevant. Yeah. I didn't give you the answer. You didn't wait around. So your prayers are still the same thing every come single on, day. Come on, come on. Because you didn't wait for his instructions. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Pray Thank and you. answer and listen. Mm. Talk and listen. Yeah. Intimate communication. Yeah. Yeah. When you have intimate communication with him, with anybody, think about when you have an intimate communication with your spouse yeah. or your children, what happens to the atmosphere? Things get quiet. Uh -huh. You turn off the TV. The distractions. Why? That's why. That's it may be late at night after all the activities are done. Because uh -huh. you want undivided attention from that person yeah. that you're communicating from. Because you want their true emotional response yeah. from you. Yeah. You want that trueness, that realness, that organic answer. That's it. The same with God. You will see, you'll hear God doing this. You may feel a, hear a knock on your bedroom door, mm. or you feel a bed shake mm. at 3 o'clock in the morning. He's saying, I want to talk to you, because no. the TV's off, on, the radio's off. You're not running around. You're not cooking dinner. You're not cleaning. You're not vacuuming. You're not yelling at the kids and doing this and that. I want to talk to you. Yeah. I got some things I want to say. Yeah. I want to let you know an intimate piece of me that you don't know yet. I want to reveal myself. Hallelujah. I want to reveal myself to you. Because I love you that much. Thank you, Lord. I love you just that much. Yes, yes, Lord. And what do we do? <laughs> <laughs> we scrunch our pillow even better. <laughs> Woo! And just hug it and, and turn on over. Check, maybe, maybe we check the time. And then we turn the pillow over. And then we get all snuggled up. Like, Ooh, three. No, I don't need to get up till six. <laughs> Not knowing the Lord is trying to get your attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lord, so we go back to sleep. Mm. Then we feel like, ooh, what was that? Ain't nothing in my room. You know, ain't nobody in my sleeping in my bed with me. Now it's four o'clock. We're like, okay, God, it's too early again. It's too early again. I don't have to get to work till eight, and I don't have to get up till six. Come on, come on. But you feel that shaking again, mm. and the Lord is steady knocking, steady trying to get to you. And when it's six o'clock and you get up, mm. what happens? We hit the floor running. 
and don't have time for God. Right. Don't have that right. intimate time where he wants to commune with us and communicate. Thank you. Yeah. He's saying, I am trying to communicate Thank you. to you. Thank you, Jesus. Have that and develop that intimacy, yes. right. which we should be doing. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Thank you, In that, we should have a good attitude. Not, Lord, why don't you wake me up at three? Mm. Hey, hey! Why aren't you saying, Lord, thank you, Jesus, that you woke me up. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that I'm in the land of the living today. Mm. It's early, Lord. It's, ain't no sun out, but the sun is shining in me. Thank you, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I'm going to put on my slippers, brush my teeth, because I don't want to, you know, curl your hair. I'm, I'm going to meet you at the couch. I'm going to meet you at the couch, Lord. I ain't going to lay in the bed like I did yesterday, because then I fell asleep. But I know what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. We know what we're supposed to do. Yeah. We know we ain't supposed to, okay, Lord, I'll read my Bible in bed and then, <laughs> and then it's just laying on us. Come on now. Thank you, deny self. Deny those things that the human existence wants, that the human man wants. Yes, come on, come on. Have a good attitude Thank you, with him. Thank you, Have a good attitude about the relationship and the requirements. Philippians 4 and 8 says, Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are good, report. If there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, yeah. meditate on those things. Not just circumstances, yeah. not what, what's going on or who didn't do what or what you didn't get done. On the good stuff he's saying, meditate on those good things. Think about those good things. Have a good attitude. A good attitude. It's required. It's required. Pray without ceasing. Mm -hmm. If you are praying without ceasing, you can't, I mean, you can't help but to think on good things. Come on now. Amen. Amen. And that don't mean pray every minute of the day to where you can't even have a conversation with your boss. Your boss trying to talk to you like, oh, 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 it's just because you ain't like your boss. No, you better work as if you're working unto the Lord. Oh, yes, That's yes. your supervisor and the authority that God has allowed you to have over you That's at it. the time. That's it. If you don't want no authority, he can take care of that. Whoops, unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> unemployed. Oh, you, oh, you, oh, you need some money to pay for your bills? Okay, be respectful Thank of the authority you. over you. Yeah. Be respectful just as I am the authority over you. Ooh, so I demand that respect That's and good. that reverence. Yes. Think on the things that are pure and lovely. Mm. Think. Repent. Amen. You cannot live in the presence of God without a repentant heart. That's it. Yeah. That's it. You no. cannot. Hallelujah. You That's cannot. Good. You cannot live in sin. That's good. Every day. That's, no on. matter if you think, oh, I didn't sin today. Mm -hmm. I didn't do anything bad. I didn't cuss anybody out. I didn't cut anybody off. I didn't, you know, go anywhere I wasn't supposed to. Mm -hmm. I didn't look at anything on the internet like I wasn't supposed to. Uh -huh. No, every day we sin. Come on. Every single day. Regardless of if you remember it or not. So you should always Say, Lord, forgive me mm -hmm. for my sins of omission and sins of commission. Come on, come Lord, on. forgive me. Think about yourself, not in a high position. Put yourself in the right perspective and position. You go here and the Lord goes there on the top. Lord. And we're down here praising him, Hallelujah. looking up in reverence, on our knees, praying to him up here. Mm. Not here. We're not equals. Come we're on. not partners. Come on, and we are not to be on top and God on the bottom. Come on. There. We didn't make ourselves. We didn't create ourselves. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Have a repentant heart yes. to Hallelujah. put yourself in a right relationship Hallelujah. with him. You cannot have the power of God and still be living in filth. Come on. You come cannot. On, come on. That's good. That's First good. John 1 and 9. If we freely, Ooh, freely admit that we have sinned and confess our sins, he is faithful and just, to, uh, true to his own nature, and promises and will forgive our sins yeah. and cleanse us continually. Mm. Continue, not just on Sundays, on. not just on the days where we're most sad or depressed. He will do it continually from an unrighteousness, from all unrighteousness, mm. our wrongdoing, everything not in conformity with his will Come and on, purpose. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm. He's just saying, you just got to do that first. Come on. You just got to repent first. Mm. 
and I'm already going to do this That's automatically. It. That's it. Automatically. But sometimes it's hard for people. <laughs> it's hard for us to admit, oh yeah, I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have done that. Come on now. Yeah, I know I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, but, 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 but nothing. <laughs> but nothing. The only but you should add in is but God. Yeah. Come on, come on. But God yeah. did it for me. Thank yeah. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And as a true and mature Christian, we should uh, be applying James 5 and 16. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other. That means you've got to be humble. That means you've got to be humble to come to your brother or sister and say, you know what? I failed last Saturday. I need to confess this to you. I need you to pray for me. I need you to pray for me. That's having a humble heart Ooh, no, no. to be able to say, I did wrong, and I need you to pray for me so I can be restored. Thank you, I need you to pray for me. Instead of, well, I could do this on my own. I could work it out on my own, me and the Lord. No, the Word just told you what to do. Follow right, instructions right. that you may be healed and set in the right relationship with God. Stop trying to walk it out by yourself. We're not meant to live this life by ourselves as Christians. Thank we you. are not. We are not. Glory to God. But confess your sins one to another. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Yes. Yes. And effective. So that righteous person you go to, they will be the ones to help set you straight and set you come right. On, come on. But you have to go. Deny yourself. Any embarrassment, any pride that you hold on to, Deny it That's so you can it. be in that right relationship with God. Yeah. Get under his will. Stop walking over here on the train track on the side of the main train track. <laughs> You're going to get hit by an oncoming train. That's what's going to happen because that ain't the, the, the route that he put you on. That's not yeah. the track that he set you on. He put you on this track. Yeah, it's a little rough and bumpy, but in the end, it's going to be smooth. That's and he it. got plenty of rewards for you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Be holy. Be ye holy as I am yes, holy. Yes. If he's saying to do it because he is holy, that means we can strive for that. Thank and we can Lord. accomplish that. Yes, it doesn't mean that we are perfect. It means that we are holy. We are striving for that. Yes. And we can be that. Yes. Amen. To live in the power of the Holy Spirit mm. requires you to develop a prayer life. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Develop, develop a prayer life. Yes. Not just pray, because when you just pray, that's singular. All that right. could be one time. Mm. Ooh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And ooh, Lord, that ain't enough. Come on now. Just praying one time ain't on, enough. Hallelujah. It's not enough, Lord. You know when you accept Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, you then get a big old target on your back on. from the enemy. That's right. Mm -hmm. So praying once is not enough. Not Thank even once know. a day Thank is enough. Come on. It's not enough. Develop. So not just to have, but to develop. Mm -hmm. Meaning that should be some ongoing progress. That's it. Some ongoing growth. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. There should be there should be some deeper levels yes. to that prayer life that you have. Uh -huh. It shouldn't just be. Uh, good, gore, good, uh, good Lord or good God, good meat, let's eat. Amen. <laughs> no, it should be some deeper appreciation yeah, for the blessings that the Lord gave you. Uh -huh. Or now I lay me down to sleep before I... That's okay when you're three, but not when you're 30. That's right. That's it right. should be deeper. Yeah. He done yeah. brought you out of some stuff. He That's didn't right. lay a path before you took care of you in your mother's womb. Lay the path as you grew up. Paid for your college education, got you a job. Helped you out through the divorce.
I'm opening things up yes. so you, my children, yes. can come right to me. Yes, hallelujah. Directly to me. Glory. Open access. Hallelujah. My line is never busy. I don't have hours on the window. Come on. Because I never close. Yes. I never close. Yes. So you can pray as deeply, as long as you want. Yes. At any time, anywhere. Hallelujah. At any time, anywhere. Thank you, Lord. Don't let nobody tell you you can't pray in school. Come on. When the bell rings and you walk out the class, start praying Pray. in the hallway. Pray. Pray on the campus. That's it. Pray in your car, wherever yeah. you are. Yeah. You can pray in the grocery store in public. Yeah. Don't let anyone make you ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because yeah. if you're ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, he will be ashamed of That's you right. before That's his right. father. Yeah. You. And you don't want that. Amen. You don't want that. Mm. He has made it possible. Think about that. How great and mighty our God is. Yes. That we can go directly to yes. him. Hallelujah. Man. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. We can go directly to him. Mm -hmm. Amen. With anything that we have, any concern, yeah. any prayer, anything, even the things that we're embarrassed to say out loud. The unspoken yes, right. prayers. Come on now. He hears them. Yes. Deepen their relationship. Thank you, Lord. If you pray twice a day, expand it. Pray four times a day. Challenge yourself. Come on. You see all the challenges on the internet. Those are so easy to do. All right. People will do stupid stuff for no reason to get some likes. That's it. How many likes has Jesus done on your page? Deepen that prayer life. They just prayed for something and wanted nothing in return. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. First John 5, 14 through 15 says, Now this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, anything according to his will, he hears us. He hears us. He's not such a big God that's so far away that he can't hear us. Amen. But when we got to yell, he not hard at hearing. That's why, yeah. He hears us mm -hmm. every time we yeah, pray. Yeah. Every time our tears are crying out to him, yes. he hears that. Yes. Yes. He yes. hears even then. You don't think you get a response right away. Yes. He hears you, my yes. child. Don't let the enemy steal that from you. That's right. Saying, you know the Lord ain't heard, ain't heard you. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. Come on now. He heard he you. Heard. Yes. He, if the devil heard you, God oh, heard you. Hallelujah. God heard you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, mm. we know that we have the petitions Glory. that we have asked Hallelujah. of him. Yes. It's Thank already you. done. Yes. Despite when you see it manifest. Amen. It's already done. Yes. Level up your faith. Get come your on, faith up. On, it's already on, done. Come on. Come on. It's already done. You may be limping, but he didn't already heal that leg. That's right. You may feel the pain in your back, but you already healed. The healing is on its way. You keep saying, Baby, act right, because yeah. I'm going to church. That's You're not it. stopping me from getting in, in church and giving God praise. I'm yeah. getting in that car and I'm going to church. Headache, I don't care if you stay or go, but I'm going to church, so you come and help me if you're going to stick around. But right now, I speak to you and say, go in the name of Jesus. I got authority to speak to you when you have to go. Yeah. You have yeah. to go. Yeah. Know that you have that authority and exercise it. Don't let the enemy steal that from you. Exercise it. You ain't got to speak in tongues. You ain't got to be the elder of the church to pray and lay hands on yourself yeah. and have the sickness go. Come on. Now. Believe it. You yes. already have it. As soon as you accepted oh, Jesus yeah. Christ, That's it. it came to live in you. That's it. Access the power. Yeah. It's already in you. Yeah. Access it. Yeah. Tap into it and yeah. let it go. Hallelujah. Tap into it and let it go. Don't be scared of it. Mm. Don't you. be scared of it. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. This refers to healings, Come on. jobs, whatever we want to ask for. Whatever. Relationships restored. Yes. Ministries. That's it. Resources for the ministries. Anything. Children, That's if you're married. That's why. All of that. A husband. Come a on. wife. That's but you can't already have a husband and a wife. Come on. God said, God, we line up with the word of God. Yeah. Come on now. You can't trick God. Come on. <laughs> you can't trick God. I thought I was 
going to manipulate God, I guess. And so after I was divorced, maybe a year or two or whatever, I said, oh, God, I want, a, I want a child. I want a child. I was 30 years old. See, I was praying for a child, but secretly in the prayers, I had subliminally slipped in a prayer request for a husband, mm -hmm. thinking, okay, God, you ain't going to make me go shack up somewhere, and then I'm going to have a baby, so you got to send a husband mm -hmm. so I can have a baby. Mm -hmm. Woo, so my husband's on his way. <laughs> and little did I know, no, 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 my son was on his way. Oh, and man, my son came and no husband. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> I didn't ask for to be a single parent. Oh, but little did I know, he saved my life yeah. and I saved his life. Because yeah. oh, yeah. there was a time that I was so depressed, didn't have enough work on myself, mm. that I wanted to just end my life. Come on, come on. But the word of God told me I meant more than that. Thank you. I'm in more than that. I had to stop listening to the enemy Come on. and knew what kind of person I was, yes. who I was and whose I was, yes. and what kind of power I had. Yes. I said, oh, I didn't see any way out of the situation. I was hopeless. Mm. But God said, I am hope. Yes. I am hope. Yes. What happened to me? Yes. I'm right here waiting for you, baby. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And I grabbed the whole, I jumped into that stream yes. where God Because you got the, enough stuff on your on your cell phones. 
Come that on, can man. take up your attention. Come on, man. Just as bad as TV. Yeah. But you gotta turn on that plate to make the, 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 the human nature upset uh -huh. and know who's in control. Yeah. Yes. Who's in control and deny and push down that self and increase the level of God in you. Yeah. That Godness by praying. Mm -hmm. When you get hungry, pray. Mm -hmm. When you get hangry, pray. <laughs> Read your word, <laughs> then pray. Yeah. Read your word some more, then pray. Yeah. When you get yeah. bored, pray. Because most of us eat because we're bored anyway. Yeah. No. So pray. Read your word. Pray. Read your word. Hallelujah. Then you can switch it up. Pray and pray. <laughs> then read your word. Yeah. Spice it up. That's it. Read a different translation. That's it. <laughs> Whatever you got to do to satisfy that itch, that hole that God has placed in your heart, mm -hmm. that can only be filled by Him. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. With that prayer Thank and that fasting. Yes. The yes. fasting and the prayer. It can be done in multiple ways. Do your research. Amen. See what's most effective for you. See what God is calling you to do. Yeah. Don't just do what your neighbor did. Come on. Come on. Because you don't need their blessings that they got. Come on. God is answering their specific blessings for them. Don't try and just do what they're doing. Yeah. Do what you need to do. Yeah. Whatever God is seeing for you. Hallelujah. Whatever God is seeing for you. If you got the broken foot, your neighbor got the broken neck, you don't need the neck brace. You, gotta, you need to move on your foot and crutches. Yeah. So don't say the same prayer they say just because they're doing that. That's or doing it. Right. Oh, you fasting? Oh, fast too. Well, maybe God's calling you to fast in about a month because some stuff is about to happen. And he needs you to fast in about a month. But what you can do is pray for that person. If God didn't call you to fast at that time, then do that. You cannot mimic somebody else to have the same Christian life and Come walk the that That's right. That's yeah. right. You've got your own life to walk own. out. Yes. Yes. Amen. you got your own life to walk out. Yes. Yes. Develop yes. that prayer life. Mm. Develop it. Thank you, it's not going to come all at once, mm. but it has to be developed like a picture. Mm. When you take a picture, the Polaroid picture mm. that you used to have or the picture that you used to develop in the dark room, right. it right. takes a minute mm. for that to develop yeah. fully. Mm. And it develops in the dark. Mm. Amen. Amen. It develops in the dark. Matthew 6 and 6. But you, when you pray, go into your room. Mm. And when you have shut your door, mm. pray to your Father who is in the secret place. Mm. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. Mm. Get mm. in your room and shut your door. It may be dark, it may be light, don't really matter as long as you and the Lord are there. Mm -hmm. And you're sincere and you are intimate with him mm -hmm. at that time. Revealing your entire self, being vulnerable mm -hmm. to him, yeah. being open. Don't hide nothing from him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Don't hide anything mm -hmm. from the Lord. Oh, yes. Because he already knows about it. Yeah, right. Just be open. Thank Lord, you. I got a problem with such and such. I need you to help me. Thank you, Lord. I need you to help me because I can't do it by myself. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Pray to him. Praying to him is just communicating just as I'm doing to you. And doing with you, talking. And then you stop and you listen. And you be still. Prayer is not running around your kitchen, doing this and that, and talking to God. All right. And being so busy that you couldn't even hear if he whispered something or if he yelled something to you. You have to be still. Thank you, Jesus. And that stillness doesn't always mean physical stillness, but it means quiet yeah. your atmosphere, quiet yourself so you can hear him. Thank you, Jesus. It does mean don't always have the car radio on every time you get in the car. Thank you, Jesus. The TV on every time you come in the house or walk in that room or something. Don't always have noise on. He's trying to talk to you. Thank you, Jesus. He's trying to talk to you. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Thank you. Develop mm. that prayer life. Yes. Amen. It's important. That's how you tap in. That's another mm. way to tap into his power. Hallelujah. Praying. Mm. Amen. Amen. And not only praying, but praying the scriptures. That's it. Yes. That's it. That's it. That's praying it. the scriptures. Yeah, that's it. You don't know what to say. Pray the scriptures. Yeah. Start Amen. there. Start there. Start there. Psalm 23. I started by praying the scriptures over a person that I could not stand. At someone's encouragement. Thank God. 
And eventually I started just praying, didn't even need the scriptures anymore. And saw that person at least twice later, twice later in life after I stopped working with them. Mm. And was joyous in their presence, wanted to actually go up and hug them, but I was like, well, let me just stand back. But I was, in, I was, man, I was happy, genuinely happy to see them. That's what the scriptures will do for you. Mm. That's yes. what prayer will do for you. It'll change your heart. Oh, yes, it will. Woo. Oh, if you let it. Yeah. If you let it. Mm. Number five, walk in boldness. Mm. Walk oh, in that's boldness. Good. Good. Not head, head held down, <clears throat> looking down. I used to walk like that when I was a teenager. I'd walk down the street like this, you know, from the bus stop down to my house, as if I needed the route every day. <laughs> I walked it every day. Walked it every day. Four years was I in high school, and I walked it every day mm. until I heard Someone say, don't walk with your head down. That's it. Walk with your head up. Yeah. Yeah. Chin up, That's head it. up. That's it. And I was like, you know what? I ain't walking with my head down. For no reason. Don't even know. We'll be doing specific stuff for no reason. Because we believe the whispers and lies of the enemy. That's it. That's it. Amen. And we haven't grasped a hold to this. That's it. Enough. That's Enough. Weird. Luke 10, 19 through 20 says, Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions mm -hmm. and over all the power of the enemy and nothing, nothing yeah. shall, uh, shall by any means hurt you. On, Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Amen. 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 So if you know you have that kind of authority, That's it. why wouldn't you walk around with your chest up and head up? Say, I am the righteousness of God. Yeah. Yeah. Living inside of you, yeah. you have that power living inside. 
inside of you. Thank you, Lord. Hebrews 4, 14 through 16 says, Therefore, since we have a great high priest mm -hmm. who has ascended into heaven, yes, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith Come we possess. Hallelujah. That we profess. Hold firmly to that faith. Yeah. Don't tell other believers over here, Oh yeah, Jesus is my Savior. And then you go to over here with your unsaved co-workers and you're scared to open your mouth. Come on, come on, you just man. got a raise, but you're scared to open your mouth. Just got a, pro, uh, 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 a promotion, but you can't even say praise the Lord because you don't want them to say anything bad about you or ask about your religion yeah. or say, oh, you believe? Yeah. You don't want to be challenged. Come on now. Well, God said, okay. You want to be embarrassed about that? I'll stop that flow of blessings. <laughs> Don't make me none. <laughs> I will stop that flow of blessings. Mm. Be bold mm. for him, for Christ. Yes. Don't be scared to wear a t-shirt that says I love Jesus. Because he loves you. He died for you. He died. He wearing all kinds of stripes on his back for us. Yes. Don't be ashamed of him. Don't be ashamed. Woo. Oh, I don't have no money to buy any t-shirts. Yes, you do. Come you on. had that McDonald's the other day. You dragged the box, didn't you? That's ten dollars. You can buy a ten dollar t-shirt. Come on. Come on. You can buy your own white shirt and write Jesus on it. I love Jesus. Jesus, right. Jesus free. Woo. Crazy for Christ. Yeah. Whatever. Represent him to the fullest. Because he's representing us to the fullest yeah. in heaven. Yeah. Advocating for us right yeah. now. Yeah. Right yeah. now. Why you're All denying right. he's represented. Come on. Thank you, Amen. While we were sinners and Come never on. knew him. And dead in Christ, mm -hmm. he died yeah. for us, knowing what was gonna happen in the future. Hallelujah. He still did it yeah. regardless. Amen. So be bold for him. Glory to Jesus. Be bold. Yeah. Be yeah. bold yeah. in your walk with Christ. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize yeah. with our weaknesses. But we have one who has been tempted in every way. Yeah, yeah. It's not that he is so good and great and mighty and powerful that he's never experienced what we've experienced. He has. Jesus has. He's went yeah. through it all. He's went through it all so he can relate to us. Yeah. So don't let anybody say, oh, Jesus is so good. How can he even relate to you at all? Mm. How can he say that? How can somebody tell you that? Don't let them tell you. Oh, how could Jesus? How could you serve that that Jesus? Jesus didn't look like you. Jesus mm. ain't ain't black. How you gonna serve Jesus? Uh -huh. Oh, you wanna bring color into this? Oh my goodness! It's like a box of crayons. He created all the crayon box and put us into this little world system here, which is the outside box. Come on. And on that box of 64 crayons, there's something on there that's helping each and every one of us out. On the back and the bottom, what's there? That's it. A sharpener. Yeah. So we can be sharpened that's by the it. word of God. Yeah. With our brothers and sisters. Not a one crayon box has only one crayon in it. Come on. You yeah. ain't never seen one Come on. crayon in the crayon box that's right. when you bought it. That's it. We're all together, all yeah. living together. One body in Christ. Yeah. One body. Maybe if the big toe is cut off, you don't lose your balance. Mm. But that don't mean you can't keep walking come on, come in Christ. Yeah. You're walking it out for Christ. Yeah. And doing what he's saying. Yeah. Be bold. Take Christ everywhere you go. Yeah. Don't try and leave him in a car when you get out and go into the grocery store. Mm. Or go to the club or wherever you're going to go. Whoa. That you think you don't want to carry Christ. Come or you on. think somebody may say, oh, you're a Christian. What you doing in here? <laughs> what you doing in here? Mm. Be bold. Be Carry bold. him everywhere. Yes. Carry him everywhere. Thank you, Lord. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence. Yes. Yes. With Ooh, confidence, Lord. not timid. Yes, he is a big God. Yes, he is great and powerful and mighty. Hallelujah. But he is peaceful and he is sweet yes. and he is loving. Yes. He's mm. not an angry God Thank who just Lord. wants to punish us all the time. Now, if you acting up all the time and you getting out of his will, then yes, you may experience more punishment than others. Come on. He's going to allow you to experience in the con uh, 
have the consequences of your actions. Come on. He's going to allow them to play out. Yes, yes right. Yes. He will. Yes, he He's will. not going to always keep stuff from us. That's it. How are we ever going to learn? That's it. How will we ever learn? Hallelujah. But be bold in him. Mm. Be bold. God don't need no cowardly soldiers. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Living oh. in the power of the Holy Spirit. Mm. Mm. Amen. 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 Living in the power of the Holy Spirit Amen. is a consistency thing yes. mm. that you have to commit to. Oh, that's it. Committing to consistency in Christ. Yeah. Hallelujah. Man, it requires growth in your faith. Yes. Studying of his word. Hallelujah. Studying, not just reading, not glancing over, but on, studying study. to find the deeper mm. meaning yes. of the words. Yes. Of the scriptures, yes. how they apply to your life, yes. how are they applicable to me? Yes. It's not enough just to know. Oh, they went through that back in the day. Mm. Oh, it's a good history book. I didn't know there was rape in the Bible. I didn't mm. know there was. Okay, well, get deeper <laughs> into it. Get deeper into it. It's yes. more than that. Yes. Get into it so much and understand it so well that you can explain it to a five-year-old, yes. and a five-year-old can un understand that. Yes. That's the level to which we should be studying and learning. Yes. Not all mean going, you got to teach children's church. But if that's what he's calling you to, then good. But all of us should learn on a level that we can explain it to a five-year-old. Yes. They don't have that abstract thinking. Mm -hmm. So we need to break it down in terms that they can understand. Yeah. So that means that we got to understand it. That's yes. it. That's on it. On that level. Yes. Yes. Be holy. Mm -hmm. Be holy. Mm -hmm. Be holy. You can't be uh, living in the power of the Holy Spirit and be wretched. That's why. Mm. And be acting up. Mm. Be acting ugly, always gossiping, always doing these other things that are not characteristic of the of the uh, of God's character. Yeah. Yeah. We cannot. It, it is just contrary <clears throat> to Him. Amen. It stinks in His nostrils. Yes. So deny yourself and repent. That's it. Deny yourself of the things that you would want mm -hmm. above. Prioritizing God's business. Yes, yes. And God's will. Develop a prayer life. Mm. Pray and fast. Oh, if you've never done it, ask God, God, Thank what you. kind of fast do you want me to go on? Yes. When do you want me to do it? Hallelujah. For how long? What do you Thank want you. me to pray for? Mm. He will give you the, the direction because the word is the lamp into your path. Yes. Yes. He will give you that direction. Yes. But you've got to open your mouth and talk to him. You've got to pray. And then walk in boldness. Yeah. Walk in boldness. You cannot, you cannot have all of this lined up and, and not be bold in come Christ. On, come on, come to on. know what you have Hallelujah. and who you are, yeah. the authority that you have, yeah. and then be timid Amen. or unsure of when you're supposed to walk out on faith and do stuff and say stuff and, and do this. Just jump. Come on. Just jump. Because the only Hallelujah. one that's keeping you back is the enemy. Come that's on. right. Telling that's right. you, no, don't do it just now. Come on, oh, what are they going to say? Everybody don't look at you mm -hmm. if you praise God right now. Or if you go up to that stranger and say something. Yeah. No, be bold. Say, God, yeah. God just told me to tell you, and I don't know if this is weird to you or not, but he just told me to tell you, God bless you, and that he's already got you taken care of. I heard you talk about that interview mm -hmm. that you're going on. Mm -hmm. He said, go and be confident he's got you. He got, got he got you. He got you. He's already got you. He's already taken care of. Job is yours, but you got to show up to the interview. You, <laughs> you got to show up to the interview. You can't say, ooh, job is mine, so you're going home. No. Be bold and take him everywhere you go. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.